guys, it's Izzy here, and today we are going to be doing the book collection tag. In the next clip, I'll give you all, all the information of who created this tag and all of that. This is basically a tag of how much do I love A Song of Ice and Fire, because pretty much every book in this video is from that universe. It's excessive. I am obsessed. I know, I have been for years. I read the original series, the whole series. I watched Game of Thrones. I read all these extension books, bought a ton of art books, and read them and then watched um, House of the Dragon and I just started rewatching House of the Dragon over the weekend so do I have a problem? Yeah, uh, I can even think of more things I've done. Cosplayed, have a whole Funko Pop display, posters. There is an obsession here and you can very much see it in my book collection. Let's get into it. <laughs> I originally saw this tag on a Book Olives channel, but the original creator of the tag is Why the Book Wins, Lara from that channel, and I will leave a link to that video down below in the pinned comment if you guys would like to check out her video. I will also leave a comment in that same comment all of the questions for this tag. But the first question is, what book are you most proud to own? The book that I'm most proud to own is this edition, which is the first edition of A Storm of Swords by George R. Martin. This is my favorite book by him, so one of my all-time favorite books. And um, we just have a very stark Tully cover here. And I just love these, like, illustrate, like, fantasy in the 90s, like that kind of cover. I would like to collect the Outlander series as well in the original hardbacks, but we'll get to that later on in this tag. But I do have all the original books uh, that he has written that are in the A Song of Ice and Fire universe in the original hardback editions. Question number two, what is a book that has slipped through your fingers um, or a book you want to buy but it's just too expensive? As I was saying, the first editions of the Outlander series, I always look at eBay but they're usually over triple digits and I honestly cannot justify buying that when I already have two copies of the book. With the A Song of Ice and Fire series I do have, no wait, I think that's a question on here, we'll get to that, the Outlander series and the original hardbacks. So I do have a reprinting of the hardback but it's not the original kind of 90s fantasy romance cover. Three is what is the most you have paid for a book and the most expensive book you own. I really don't know which is the most expensive, but it is, as I said, one of the original hardbacks for the A Song of Ice and Fire series. Or do you budget for your book buying? In general, no. I don't have like, I'm gonna spend a set amount of money each month. I do keep track of it because I, I just like seeing the stat to see how much I spend, but I don't, Put a set goal. Now for buying these like first edition books I'm like I don't go over $80. That's my like budget for book collecting. Like not these are books I've already read in one edition but if I'm going to be buying extras I'm not going over $80. Five. What book do you have you got for a screaming deal? This is one that I got oh my gosh it just exited out. <laughs> okay. This is one that I got as a gift and I actually have two of these really big ones. The other one is The Art Of, but this is it's really heavy. <laughs> the Photography of Game of Thrones. So these are big coffee table books and I wish I had just a better place to store them because they are so nice and I just wish I could flip through occasionally. Like, there we go. These came out after the show. There are several books, the costumes, the photography, the art. And there might be more and honestly I have two of them and I need the third to complete the collection but just like behind the scenes pictures of the show and this show has great cinematography I can't wait for them to make ones like this of not fire and blood of house of the dragon because the cinematography on that show I'm just like screaming the whole time I'm like this is so good this is so good this is so good six is what author do you own the most books of I do not have an official stat for this so if but if we go with like which author do I have the most editions of then it is George R. R. Martin Diana Gabaldon is another I think it's Diane not Diana 
that would be one. Which other books do I own multiple copies of? Taylor Jenkins Reid, Christian Hanna. So the, I'm going to say those are probably, which they are some of my favorite authors, so it wouldn't make sense that I own multiple books. But like if we go by multiple books written by that author, and then I I don't know. <laughs> I don't keep track of that. So seven, what book do you own the most editions of? So it's going to be these three books that I'm about to show you. And these are the ones that I love these editions. These are the 25 year anniversary ones. And again, they are very dusty because I used to have them in my bedroom and then I moved and I just don't have a place to display them. And the first one is a, a Game of Thrones. These are illustrated editions like this and they're hardback but not with a dust jacket kind of thing and they're honestly just such beautiful additions. Then we have A Clash of Kings and when I reread I will probably reread in these editions. Again tons of dust and cat hair but this one and these are $40 but I mean to me it's worth it. There are editions that I won't but I just I can't justify buying but those. So they do have some colored illustrations and then some that are black and white. And then the last one, which is my favorite book in the series, and that is A Storm of Swords. And they do have these maps on the end pages of Westeros. And then let's see if there's, let me find an illustration. They do have the illustrations throughout the books. And then eight, what is the most beautiful book you own? Those definitely fall into that category as well as the most beautiful books that I own, but it's so difficult. I'm not really somebody who buys a book just because it's pretty, but those are some of them. So as you can see, I have an obsession. I have an addiction. I love A Song of Ice and Fire. <laughs> I love Game of Thrones. I love House of the Dragon. It's a thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you have any of these books that I showcased in my collection? Do you have any different versions of these books? And if you made it all the way through, leave a book emoji in the comments below. But as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to be notified when all my videos go live. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.